So this question comes from Gerdby. Um, my friends and I got into an argument around whether an antivirus, anti-malware software is necessary in a home setting. Many articles that I've read state that the advanced piece of malware can in fact bypass most antivirus software. What do you think? Uh, yes, uh, probably at this point. But what you have to realize is antivirus should be one component of your overall security strategy. The reason that we're having so many problems with hacking and virus attacks and all that kind of stuff is because too many people think that security is like one thing. Like they install one product and now I be secure. And it's not. Basically, a, uh, whenever you're dealing with security for computers, it, it's, it's a layered defense. You need to be doing multiple things. So one of the big things a lot of people don't do is you need to make sure that all of your software is updated. Your operating system it has the latest updates. Adobe, if you have Adobe installed on your computer, Adobe Reader and Flash has the latest updates. Java has the latest updates. Any of this stuff that you have on your computer, make sure it has uh, the latest updates. Beyond that, if you're using a Windows system, you should not be using the administrator account. The reason being is because if you click on a script or you click on something uh, that is able to run, uh, it is able to run with the permissions of the current account. So if you're in with an administrator account, somehow this gets triggered or wrong, is now running with administrator permissions. If you log in with a user account that does not have administrator permissions, uh, when something tries to run, it it simply fails out. Beyond that, you need to make sure you have your firewall. Beyond that, I would say don't use Internet Explorer, save your life. Um, and then beyond that, you have antivirus. And so if you have all of those things together, more or less, uh, your system should be pretty secure. Then the other thing is just, you know, how old are you? <laughs> You're probably young, you're probably male. Uh, the other thing is just know what porn websites to go to and what not to go to. There are some legitimate porn websites out there and there's some not legitimate porn websites out there. Uh, know the difference. I mean, that that's one of the big things. I mean, like, it's like, ha ha, Eli, you're talking about porn, but it really is, man. I made so much money off of porn. Spaghetti Monster bless the porn industry. The reason is, is because so many of these little 15 year olds would get on their parents' computer and they would click everything, they would download everything, they would install everything, and therefore they would just get their computer filled with crap. And that's what you have to think about, you know, like what is a virus? What is malware? If you go to a porn website and the porn website states in order to watch our porn, you have to install our viewer. You, in fact, download, you, in fact, install this viewer, which, in fact, has a whole crap ton of malware that comes along with it. But you did that process. This isn't something, to, I mean, it is nefarious in its way, but this isn't something like going on in the background you, you completely didn't know. You went to the porn website, you downloaded the viewer, you installed the viewer with the permissions of your user account, um, and now your computer is infected to all high hell and back. So, um, you know, it's that kind of stuff that, that happens. So, yes, 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 yes. Have virus, have anti antivirus on your computer, especially if you're a home user. There's so much free stuff now. Avast, AVG, even Microsoft Security Essentials, if, you, if you're willing to go that way. There's no reason not to have antivirus um, anymore. I really can't, like, why would I not have antivirus? The only reason I might not have antivirus is if I had a completely dedicated box, a 100% dedicated box to something. Uh, so again, let's say I had a surveillance system server. Um, I had maybe a specific file server. And then I locked that thing down to hell and back. You know what I'm saying? You lock down the ports. You lock down the permissions. You lock it down. And so what you have to look at is so... Although it may be a Windows computer, you're not using it to go to porn websites. You're not using it to go to Hulu. You're not using it to get... It just sits there doing its thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe I might not have antivirus on there in certain situations if I wanted 100% uptam on it and I was concerned that the antivirus might end up actually causing problems because any software, any security you install... Yeah, there, there's risk. There's risk with security. Um, so in that situation, but I mean, that system would be locked down and I swear to you, it would be a system I, I would never physically touch unless I was doing specific maintenance to it. Um, otherwise, I can't see why you wouldn't have antivirus. It just makes sense. And you know, if you get an email in, if you go to a weird website, um, any of that kind of stuff happens. I just don't see why you, you wouldn't use antivirus nowadays. You, you still, you, you need antivirus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you need antivirus.